At least 24 people were shot and injured between late Saturday afternoon and early Sunday morning. Police believe most shootings were gang or drug related. 34 Chicago students killed and almost 300 wounded in the past year. Chicago is now the murder capital of this country. Ever since I lost my nigga, seemed like I lost my mind. If you ain't talking about no money, homeboy, don't waste my time. My young boys told that now, homeboy, don't cross the line. Doing all these goddamn drugs, seemed like I lost my mind. I done lost my mind, I done lost my mind, I done lost my mind. I done lost my mind, I done lost my mind, I done lost my mind. My young boys told that now, homeboy, don't cross the line. I done lost my mind, I done lost my mind, I done lost my mind. I done lost my mind. Come on, What's going on, Pro Truth family? Um, first of all, shout out to um, Vice News for... Um, you know, doing doing a doc little documentary on this on um on just the lifestyle of Chicago with these kids in these alternative schools. So they have a series on this, and I'm actually going to be doing a little bit of commentating on it and reacting to it, and um and basically show a lot of you brothers why it is important for you to be in your children's life. So you have young ladies, I mean young girls and young boys in, in this whole in this video. So it's probably like a five, six, maybe an eight part series that I'm gonna do on this whole thing. So I just wanted to show you guys why, again, why it's important that you need to be in your children's life. A lot of our black men are doing piss poor planning when we have children. We don't plan at all. We end up having children. We end up letting the mother start taking, taking care of the children. And again, and I've said this before in other videos that um, these mothers, they don't know what to do. By the time the child turns, becomes a teenager, they have nothing to teach the child. And don't believe any woman that says, that they've raised their child by themselves. I promise you that they've had a male, some type of male role model or some man help them raise their child. Whether it's, if it's not the father, they probably had an uncle, some male family member, maybe a teacher, maybe a reverend, and worst case scenario, the Penelope's. AKA the police. So I'm going to be pointing out a lot of things in this video, but it just goes to, but it's going to show you how, what, what, what happens when a child is not being raised by their father and just being raised by the mother alone. So let's go ahead and continue with this video. My name is Dr. Anthony Chalmers. I'm the principal here at Monte Fiore Therapeutic Day School. We are the only therapeutic school in the Chicago public school system. Hey, cut it out. Man. Hey, come here. I told you about playing with me, man. Come on back here. It's kind of sad. These kids are probably between, we'll say, 9 and 14, and they're going through, met they have to go through metal, de metal detectors or have to be checked to make sure that they ain't carrying nothing crazy, no illegal weapons. Kind of sad. Kind of sad. And this is Chicago. It's happening in a lot of other, other cities, too, and especially these inner cities. Stop. 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 Stop.
The main diagnosis is emotionally behavior disturbed. You walk in my face, I'm gonna beat the fuck out of you, boy. And then a lot of it is just aggression. Don't worry about it. Keep talking stuff and come over there and knock your ass up. Fuck around with They're just out of control, you know, because I guess the home situation that we don't have control over. So it takes some extra time to settle down. Stop running. You see that a lot of times these parents don't even want to even deal with their own children. So then they so then they end up pawning them off to somebody else into the school system. And of course, the school system, the teachers and the faculty don't want to deal with these kids, but they're doing it because they're getting paid for it. But they don't want to deal with these kids either. I ain't gonna lie to you. If it was me, I I ain't gonna lie. I would love to knock some of these kids out. I really would, because these kids is really out of control. But let's go ahead and continue. Get this fucking cut on my motherfucking face. A lot of my friends, when I tell them, you know, describe the stuff that I have to do throughout the day, you know, they look at me like I'm crazy. I knew of a student that was arguing with another student and turned his back and that kid pulled out a gun and shot him in his back, you know, and that kid died, you know, and it's sad. I know other kids that have actually done crimes, you know, real criminal crimes that have gotten them locked up for years, you know. I know kids that have actually killed people, so the structure that we try to give them here, you know, is only so much, you know, it's only so much that we can do in the school. Okay. All right, have a sheet of paper. Take out a sheet of paper. Yeah. And sit down. I tell you guys, in algebra, what we're usually doing is substitution of values. Now, you got to be able to read these sentences to understand them. It says n plus 7 is the value of n. Then they give the problem, n plus 3. So what is n? Wait, wait, hold up, wait a minute. Let me put some pimp in it. Okay. Hold up, wait a minute. What if I give you a hard one, Dante? I don't know what y'all talking about. So what am I going to substitute? Matthew, what am I going to substitute? What am I going to change to? All right, how should I go about doing that? Should I, I should, you should always start on this side of the problem first on the left side. What should I do up there? Can I see this screen if it works? Erase the two. I mean, no, so. It's equal to three. I can't see it. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I could never be a teacher in the in. T I couldn't be a teacher. It's no way I would be a teacher. I know for a fact I'd be fired, probably even in jail, because I would definitely want to knock out one of these kids. You probably could. Exactly. I'm gonna teach you. Okay. Let me go put some problems on Come on, put some problems on the board. Fuck that. <laughs> I tell you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Give you fuck you. Fuck you. All that. Get away from the computer. My trash you Everybody That's why he doesn't know how to do the problem. Shut the fuck up. Take the coat off. That's why you don't know how to do the problem. Take the coat off. Take the coat off. Take the coat off. Take the coat off. You will get it at the end of the day. Take the coat off. Take the coat off. I'm asking you to take the coat off. One more time, I'll give. Okay, you're gonna get it. You're gonna get it. You're gonna get it. Don't you gonna get it. Face up here. No, hell no. You ain't gonna. Trip me if you want to. Bird. You ain't going out the room. Bird. Have a seat. Break it. Go break it. Break it. Go break it. Bird. Have a seat. Break it. Go on, break it. Go on, break it. You got it. And let me tell you something, brother. That's part of the result of not having a father in the home. So 
I'm a, I'm going I'm I'll put money that his ch- that his mother uh, that that his mo- she's she's a single mother father probably not even around probably in prison or something or 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 in, or doing drugs or something these are I'm telling you now a lot of these single mothers they are going to lose control of their child by the time they become teenagers and they are going to look for a male role model or a male figure to help raise that child, especially if they have sons. Because this child probably already think he a man and thinking that he could take this older man. Let's continue. Break that, you really going to jail. Move, get away from me. No. Get away from me. No. Montreal, if I change that number, then you know what to do next time. Montreal, do you know what to do this time? Here, you want to come pay and work it? I said, all we do is substitute values. What's well, six times two? Twelve. You gonna multiply four times four. What is four times four? Eight. What is I'm four? Sixteen. Would you be quiet? Well, I'd like to see you go up here and do one of these problems. Shut the fuck up talking to me, Mr. Johnson, so I come knock the motherfucking glasses off your face. And that's on my dick or my head. Didn't I tell you? And how 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 is he supposed to be able to teach the class with a child acting like that? I'm telling you, man, I, these brothers are better than me. They better than me. I probably wouldn't even, I couldn't do it anyway. So Mm-mm. I ain't got the patience. <laughs> Didn't I tell you earlier today? I said, Markel, I said, I do not, I said, I do not talk to you that way. And I would appreciate it if you did not talk to me that way. I do not curse at you. Have I ever cursed at you? Yes. I, I have never yes. cursed at you. Yes, you have. I, you know that's not true. That's John. You Why have you cursed. Talking? Okay. <laughs> four squared. Oh, four yo, times yo. four is what? <coughs> Six times one is what? Plus three, 96. Now you're going to get a little bit harder. Mm-hmm. Oh, What's going on, Jay Love? I grew up similar to a lot of these kids, and it would be wrong of me not to try to show a young man or a young woman the right way to do things, because people did that for me. They don't want to feel threatened. Restraint is used in special education, but it's only supposed to be used when it's necessary. If they're becoming a threat to themselves or others, that's when the restraint is used. So everything else has to do with your mouth. You have to be able to talk them out of something. All this stuff we're doing now, you ain't even supposed to be out here today, okay? You're going to learn all this stuff, and next year we're going to depend on you to run it. Okay? That's why we're doing this. All right? That's what I'm asking for you. Okay? Do what he said. It ain't, it's going to be all right. Brothers, if I didn't say this earlier, the reason why a lot of these, these kids are in these alternative schools because they can't go to even a public school. So they have to be basically trained and disciplined before they can go back to public school because of the way they've been acting. And as we get further in to the video, you're going to find out what, what some of these kids did to put them in alternate in this alternate school. But let's continue. Patient is the main thing. You already know they got problems, so you don't take things personal. I don't take things personal because if I did, I couldn't come up right here from day one. Uh, <laughs> Light does not penetrate very far beneath the ocean surface. Did you know that? No, we ain't know that. Organism that needs light. Organism, we already know. Must live body. near the surface of the ocean. When they say organism, what do they mean by organism? Well, you must... It's non-living, <laughs> what? Living <laughs> and non-living thing. Oh, yeah. Why you keep clean? You play too much. Yeah. Would you please sit down? Yeah. Oh, this is the lowest teacher at the school. <laughs> okay, ocean zone, identify. 
I can't stand that little boy. My name is Crystal. I'm 14. I'm in this behavior school because I have bad behavior. So before I even go further into this, you see, she she has bad behavior. We're gonna and she's gonna tell you exactly why she's in alternative in alternative school. But if you didn't notice, she's wearing a pair of Jordans that probably those Jordans are probably about 150 to 200 bucks. So why would you get rewarded if that's what she did? Why would you buy your child something expensive even though your child is acting up? That doesn't make any sense to me. Let's continue. I'm disrespectful. I feel you. I feel you. I broke a teacher's arm, broke her wrist up to here. And like four days later, they made a um, police report and they put me on probation for three months. So as you can see, she broke she broke her, one of her uh, faculty's, uh, faculty's arm, an adult. And you wonder why a lot of our children are acting the way they are. You'll find out later in another part. She, her father is nowhere around. Is her mother who is struggling to raise this child. I'm not sure if she knows who her father is, but she needs help. Let's continue. Can you help me? Okay, what I'm doing. Help me fix this. Remember, in between here, they're more narrow, right in there. I'm I had to make more lines. lines. Because that's the way the Prudential is. So you've got your, your wide too many lines. lines. No, it's not, Crystal. You're just going to go in between there with this. I'm not going to do it. If I do it, I'm going to mess up, and then I'm going to throw out my picture. Crystal, sweet as pie. But life is already over unless some divine intervention takes place. The children are disabled emotionally. They are already a statistic. Life is already determined for them. It's the saddest thing I've ever seen in my life. It gives you the number. Every time I put it in the computer, I know how many days you have. Look, everything is D, 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 F, 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 F. You haven't been to school in one week. Now you got an F? Now if you want to take that path in life, that's your choice. But I'm going to fight. While you live with me, I'm going to keep on fighting for me and for you. Back to her stabbing. She has no male role model to help her out. Besides these, besides his teaching, what I mean male role, I'm talking about the father. Where's the father at? So she out of control. I'm going to tell you something. When the father is not around, the family is imbalanced. It is not balanced. So don't believe when these women say that they're independent, oh, I don't need a man, they're lying. Again, when these women say they don't need a man to raise, to help them raise a child, they are lying because they will find somebody to help them raise that child. And if they don't, they're going to end up with the Penelope's anyway. No. That was the second time she stabbed that boy. You know, the first time we talked about it. What is the boy doing to her? The and last she... time I stabbed him was because he said, calling me like a dog. He said, you know you want So he's some. provoking the situation. So then I had a pencil in my hand, and I'm like, what? And I went to his face. I'm like, do it again. And he did it again, and I just stabbed him. What I keep on hearing is they provoke me. They provoke me. Nothing's being done about it. So if they provoke me, I get tired of it, then I'm going to misbehave. Because then she's crying out, somebody help me. Maybe that's the only way that child knows how to express themselves. Well, ma'am, let me tell you something. The person she's crying out for is her father. That's who she's crying out for. But I don't blame you because you're on survival mode. So I'm not going to blame you at all because you probably have the same mentality as your child does. Again, brothers, y'all have to be in your children's life. You have to be in your children's life because if you don't, they're going to end up like this, or they're going to be behind bars, or they're going to be six feet 
deep. Protect your seed, brothers. Self at that moment. That's the only way they know how to say, I need your attention because I'm asking you and you're not listening to me that I need help, but you're not, it's not going, it, it's not going through, but this is the only way I know how to do it. It'll be hard for me to say, Crystal, please stop when you say fuck you to me, okay? When I get upset, I get disrespectful, so ain't nobody gonna change that. I mean, I control it sometimes, but when I'm mad, I'm mad. Little girl, somebody's going to change that. Believe me. You may not want to change, but somebody's going to forcefully change that. And you might be six feet deep or behind bars, so you might want to watch what you say. In those times when you're mad and you're being disrespectful, what's Mr. Robertson supposed to do? Change. Should he stand there and let you be disrespectful to him? What should he do? Do what he got to do. If he has to suspend me, then suspend me. Okay. Typically, what we do try to do here is really walk it out, talk it out, and figure out how can we not suspend the student? How can we keep the student here so the student can be learning? Because um, we know what kind of population we're dealing with, and we really want more than anything to try to get them to learn the right things to do so they can be productive. Because we want you here learning. Your mother wants you here learning. What you are here to do is try to get it together so that you can potentially go to a regular high school. Come on, man. Come on, come on. Come on. What's up, y'all? Y'all already know about y'all. Hey, come on. Because I'm on that. I'm off the flat. Crystal. Crystal. Damn. Yeah, man. Let me wind. She's going to wind. Come on. You want me to go first? I'm just telling the truth, bro. You talk smart, Who cares? gonna get fucked up. Who cares? And watch your mouth. I'm just letting your bitch ass and know. Watch your I'm mouth. just letting you know. Shut up. Don't touch me. You can't tell me what the fuck to do. And watch your mouth. Why are you cussing? Sit down, Demise. Shut up! Shut up! Two laps. See? Now, let's move it. You see the difference between how you heard the female talking and the dude didn't even give a shit. And then you got the male talking. And they kind of listen. I keep, brothers, your sons need male energy. Your daughters need a little bit of your male energy. Because if, you, if once the male energy disappears, that's when these children get to be out of control. They have no control over themselves. Let's continue. You just got to get the meanness out of them. They've been told that they full of shit so long that they feel it. They ain't told them that they nasty so long they feel it. They told them they the dumb so long they feel it. Spanky, do it again. You got it. Come on, Spanky, take a deep breath. Let's do it. Come on, man. Let's just the second day. Do it. Now blast it back fast as you can. Come on. Come on. There you go. Are you not? I hear you. You just went. Second ball. Now go. Get him up, Antonio. Get him up. Keep the feet up. Keep the feet up. Feet up. Straight. Straight. Come on, Antonio. Go. Come on, when you ready, when you ready, come on. You gotta do it, just go, come on, you got it. Go, do it, there you go, come on, Spanky. Come on, Spanky, go. That's all right, I was about to drop the next one. All right, there you go. Everybody here, right here together. You can't be mad at the next man. If you do, you ain't a team. Life ain't fair. That's why you at Monty Fee. <laughs> okay? All right, come on, everybody. One, One two, two, three, Monty Fee! Yeah. There you go. When they come in, they got attitude. They feel as though the world is against them. 
Our goal is get you back to your regular school. I don't want to see you here. No, man, because his ass do too much. He don't know what that shit that Roberto. Stop, stop. Why you wait? Why you wait for him to get way over there? Stop. He should have came my face. All you have to do is stand in line. Exactly what he's telling you. Because he always doing something on the street that they don't never say nothing to him. But, but you getting caught. But you getting caught. No, I ain't telling him to quit talking this shit. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, whack your ass. My name is Cortez. I'm 14. I just like to fight. That just would be my main focus on when I come to school. I'll be at home thinking about I want to fight tomorrow. So I, I'll plan how I'm going to start a fight off. Get in the front of me. I'll walk up to the person who I want to fight and push him and see it, then I'll see what he'll do. Get out my face, boy. I'm not playing with you, dummy. Don't come in my face. Let him go. Let him go. I would try to hurt him real bad or try to make him not breathe or something. That's the only reason I fight. This is my new bet. What is You see, this is this is crazy. You you heard the man talking about he'll he'll try to make him not um, not breathe. This is what's going on with our kids. Not all of them. But I'm going to continue to say, brothers, y'all are supposed to be the role models. But we're going to get into where his father's at. He'll He's going to talk about that later. But you'll find out where his father is at because he's going to see him later. That shit old, is it? Come on, this is my new bitch, Chad. This is my new bitch, bro. Tim, I'm about to spit on Chris. She spit on me. It was right there, and I went... And they came on me. It touched them a little bit. Yeah, I'm playing with my hands. What the bus I ain't that? What the bus I ain't that? Tell that nigga on your fucking head. Fuck like you, bitch ass. Nigga, why you trying to kick you on though? Shut your bitch ass off, boy. What? Get out my face, man. What you gonna do? What the hell? I think I got him on camera. That's all I want to fight right here. Watch that. Hold him again for you. Yeah. 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 Hold the side with those feet. Yeah. 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 Who's that, my yeah. Hit his ass. Yeah. Fuck you, Tony. Don't, 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 don't act like you tough, though. I stomp your ass and uh, Boom. Come I, on. Be hey, Tony. Hey, Tony. Fuck you. Beat your ass, watch this, Yeah, so you gotta go through nothing, watch this. I'm about to beat your ass. Once I get up with my gun, I'm like, I'm for real, I'm not so you got you got a young 14 year old fighting another 14 year a girl. And more and and of course he's stronger than her. You wonder where these people getting this stuff from. But let's go ahead and continue because she probably a savage herself. That's what I want right here, too. This is what I want right here, too. Bitch. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Dad, watch out, boy. Come on, man. I'm not going to see if playing around. I got to do it. All right, boy, she just hit me, though, boy. Let's do it up. You want to send the police to, to uh, Wood in Chicago? Wood in Chicago. Oh, uh, Derek can't hardly stop uh, this girl in the cocktail to fight. Get him! I ain't even mad at the brother for even calling the police. He too, he too old to be dealing with that bullshit. These kids, man, I'm telling you, let's continue. Okay. Hey, listen, listen. You know, do it. Get him! Get him! Get him! Every one of you sit down. I will take the whole bus right to the police station. You don't. You got them two kids fighting up there while that bus driver trying to drive. Now, what would have happened if he would have hit somebody and crashed or ran the bus off the road or something? And and they all still alive. You know that old man will be liable for that shit. Because he's responsible for all them kids. Then you probably have all the parents trying to jump on this old man saying that he couldn't control those kids. I tell you what, brothers, get a hold of your kids. I don't care, but I will care. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now get down in the seat. Get down in the seat, man. Get down in the seat, man. 
Come on. What'd you say? Megan. What'd you say? Megan. All right, watch out, though. Hey, hey, you watch you out, though. Make you Look hey, let my hand go, though, for real. Damn. Damn. Get your whole bitch ass on, man. Come sit down now, y'all. Get your shit. I saw who's doing that for one. Good morning. My name is Reverend Robin Hood. I'm a local school council member at Montefi Aurea. That's been a problem getting students here through uh, the Office of Special Services. So we want to get to the bottom of this today. Most of the murders that happen and take place in the city of Chicago are usually kids between the ages of 12 and 18 years old that have special needs. CPS needs to get this message today loud and clear. No, sir. CP, I mean, that's, that's a pretty good speech there, Reverend, but you need to get... You know who needs to get it loud and clear are the parents. That's who needs to get it loud and clear. But didn't I say earlier that a lot of these women that are single mothers usually want to get a reverend? I, already, I actually called out reverend or these church members, church men. It's only it's the only thing that's left now is that, well, they somebody they already called the police too. I tell you. That's that's what that's where that's where they headed. But let's continue. I've been a friend in the school for 20 years, uh, fighting to keep the school open because uh, of the service that was so great for the kids. And that's a young man right there, look like he's about 16. Don't know why they ain't in school, it's 925. Usually they hang in front of the stores. They're either selling drugs or buying drugs. All the data shows that at least there are 4,000 kids to 6,000 kids that can benefit from a school like Montefiore. I don't understand how you could benefit from an alternative school when you got these kids acting the way they do. So all you're doing is just pawn them off to some other adults that really don't really, they, they somewhat cared with these kids, but they don't really care because after they go home, they tired as hell. They don't want to deal with all this. Okay. Hey, oh, 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 wait a minute. I got the ass up. Do she always hit you? She always hit you. Well, <laughs> this may be the only meal of the day. Some of them may not have food in the house at all because uh, many of their parents, they will use drugs and probably a fourth of these kids do the same thing, if not half. I hope y'all heard that. That's probably the best meal that they have during the day, which is lunch. You got a lot of these kids, a lot of these, a lot of these inner cities, they have food pantries or they don't even have anything healthy for these kids. When I was growing up, I mean, I was good. Both of my parents was good, but I didn't really eat all that junk food. You got a lot of these kids probably go home and eating ramen noodles, potato chips, all that sodium. And then, uh, and then you got other ones, you know, I remember when I was growing up, not me, but I remember my, some of my friends, Saturday morning, they got all this cereal, sugary cereal. I grew up on cornflakes. My parents, only other, other, only other two cereals that had a little bit of sugar in it was Honey Nut Cheerios. Sometimes my parents would buy that and very rarely Frosted Flakes. So. That's a that's another reason why a lot of these kids are acting the way they do because of because of poor nutrition. They probably not eating no real breakfast, cereal in the morning, but they probably getting a decent, I'm gonna just say decent lunch at school. And then when they go home, they probably eat ramen noodles or something from that that they could throw in the microwave, a TV dinner, something cheap. And them TV dinners don't cost that much. Probably less than two dollars. So a lot of this, a lot of this stuff, the way these kids are acting is part of it is nutrition. But a lot of it is the fact that they ain't got no father in the house. But let's continue. No ass ugly boy. I'm about to go in and fuck up my head. Yeah. Tell, tell them the reason why you can't look at them in his eye. Hmm. Tell them why you can't look at them in his eye. Yeah, I'm wondering about that, man. Why you can't look at them? Huh. You what? You have? Yeah. Smoking a lot. 
Quit smoking no matter what. We. Did your mama know you got high? No. At 14 years old, you smoking marijuana. Listen, I don't give a shit about all these people talking about how they smoke marijuana. And, uh, all right. I, I, all these kids that be smoking marijuana and stuff like that, I, I think is weak. Even these adults that are, you should not be smoking marijuana at all. That is not, the marijuana should be used for medical use only, not recreational. So I blame a lot of these adults that are out here smoking weed and thinking that it's cool and using it to relax. And be, or they're depressed, so they want to smoke weed. If you got, if you have to have a drug in order to feel good, you weak. Again, and I don't care what I don't give a shit what anybody says. If you are smoking marijuana or doing any other drug to feel good, you are weak. Let's continue. If you was in a regular public school, you would be in jail right now. You would be in jail. Reverend Hood. Yes, sir. He fought on Easter. Everybody got guns. Be careful, because if you the one do the shooting or the killing or the stabbing, you gone for anywhere between 50 to 100 years. If you 14 and you get caught up and you get 60 years, they make you how old when you get out of jail? Brother, that's basic math. That's basic math. That's not even multiplication. All he's doing is adding some numbers. So you know he's not learning. Well, you know he's not learning anything in school. And I'm not blaming the, the, the teachers. He just doesn't give a shit. 10 plus 64, I think that's what he said. And he can't even add that. He's, he's, he's struggling to add 10 plus 64 let's continue 60 plus what 60 plus 14 60 plus 10 60 plus 10 is how much i don't know you get out of 74 60 plus 10 is what he asked him and he doesn't even know basic math and again he's 14 years old so what has he been doing in school Let's continue. Before you get in something, because somebody said A, B, C, D, somebody looked at my girl, somebody stepped on my foot, somebody disrespected me, ain't worth it. My little sister, she got beat to death. My brother was killed on 16th Street in an all-black minivan. He got shot by his friend, set him up over some money, and my dad locked up for a murder that he did try to rob a stole, and then his girlfriend tricked on him and told him where he was at. So I know a lot of people like to talk about this generational curse, but you heard that. His father is in prison for a murder charge or attempted murder. He also had a sister that was killed, younger than him, and a brother that was killed. This is what's going on in these inner cities. This is Chicago. Brothers, we gotta do better. We gotta do better. Let's continue. How long is he gonna be away for? It's life. Right now, we at uh, Cortez house. Um, he has been pulling wool over all our heads, had us thinking that he was actually on medication, taking his medication. But we found out this, this evening that he haven't been, and he's been fa So brother, y'all gonna see that as he spoke on, Cortez is supposed to be on some type of med. I don't even know what the name of the medication is. I'm going to think, I don't know, maybe Ritalin or something. I don't even know what it's called. But it's probably supposed to de 
to make him to calm him down because he's wilding out. But why would you want to put the child on some type of medication? But he's going to tell you about, but the child's going to tell you about this medication that he's not taking. And the mother is can actually get in trouble or get her child taken away because he's not taking the medication. And they're going to say that. So let's go ahead and continue and listen to this. They're faking it. Got to get your mama to wake up. You don't, know, you don't, you don't understand the repercussion. I'm going to make you understand tonight, though. Go, 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 go get your medicine. You got on up. Go, go get your medicine. Go get, go get the medicine you got. That stuff make me go to sleep, so I'm not gonna take that. It's cool. Yes, Y'all heard that? The medicine that he's taking makes him go to sleep. It's a depressant. It calms him down. But why does he have to take a drug to do that? Let's continue. We got to get this stuff straight because you just can't walk around with no medicine talking about you got some medicine. You know who will get in trouble? Huh. He ain't understanding that. What they're going to do is call DCFS on your mama. Okay? That's what they're How you going to tell me, man? I'm telling you what they're going to do. They're going to call on her and say she ain't doing what she's supposed to be doing for you. I need you to know that this is real. This is for real. So you need to understand the seriousness of this. You know what kills me with all this, too? And I do blame the brothers for a lot of this stuff. But when it comes to these women that have multiple children, why is it that after the first child, you don't get your shit together? Why would she had a total of at least three? She had three children and I don't even think it's with the same man. So when does it when does it get in your head that like, OK, I need to stop having children and get my shit in order? When does it and I, and, and I, and I get it. Sex is a beautiful thing. We all love sex. But when do you understand that after the first after the second child, all right, that's it. When do you learn? We got to do better, man. And you wonder, and I, this is this is what they call culture. This is the stupidity that they call culture. Good morning. You know, I, I, I hate to say this, mama. I know you think he's still your baby, but he really ain't no baby no more. You know, I could tell you done a great job with him to the best of your ability, you know. But now it's time for him to uh, fit in the footsteps of a young man. And that's what and that's that's one of the biggest problems, because he already think he's a man already and he could do what he want. He has no guidance, none whatsoever. And as you can see, the mother has nothing to teach him. Now she, he's out of control. She can't even control him. And it actually talks about that in the Bible. That the, that the sons, I don't know the actual verse or how it's said, but basically these sons and the daughters too are going to turn against the mother when the father is nowhere around. That's a that is a curse. That's a real curse. When we had the meeting on the phone, you had indicated to us that he hadn't had his medicine since March of 2013. And what I say to all parents, I'm not a big advocate of medicine, but there are some children yes. who do need that support. Mm -hmm. Your son is one. It was bad on my behalf, too, because I wasn't taking him to go get it, but I was also going through things with my sister, who I stay with now, so it was like I was from house to house to house, and I really couldn't just, like, focus. I just had to focus on us having a roof over our head. So you see that. She don't even have time to even take care of her own child. She's doing everything else. So, of course, the child is going to be running amok.
This, brothers, this is the reason why it, you should be protecting your seed. But some of y'all are very, very reckless with your seed. And you give it to some old scallywag and then you run around, you're running around here with your head cut off. She run around here with her head cut off and she's actually, and she's also on survival mode. And neither of y'all have nothing to teach your child. So the real, the person to really blame is you fathers, you brothers, you men that are over here giving away your seed. Y'all are to blame for this. I could easily blame the woman too, but I'm not going to do that. Because a lot of our women run around here with their heads cut off and they have a childlike mentality because they're not being taught anything either. But ultimately, it is your fault, brothers. So we got to get shit together and start setting, set, setting standards. Let's continue. He's been extremely aggressive, defiant, non-compliant, not complete any work. He'll come up in my face and I'm gonna fuck you up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. And he's and he's very kind. I mean, he is like right here, angry. I mean, he is angry. The veins sticking out of his neck. Eighth graders, you should see them. They just run around the room. I might have somebody jump on top of a desk. The whole class. I mean, Cortez isn't by himself, but he will initiate things. Kids that don't. Re of course he will, because he's probably the ringleader. So they probably look, a lot of the other kids probably look up to him partly because he's probably tougher than the rest of them and they scared of him. So I, I commend these teachers that are actually trying to help these kids because I know if it was me, I ain't got the patience for it. I would probably want to knock one of these kids out. They would probably have me in jail or I just wouldn't do it anyway. I ain't I ain't no people person like that. And I don't tolerate disrespect, especially for some kids. Don't receive proper treatment. They get in, in a lot of trouble with the law, you know, and I know you don't want your son at the juvenile detention center. He's like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Mm -hmm. All is going down on Cortez because his father have 86 years in prison. He doesn't have a father figure. It's just me. Taking care of my two boys. Wow. When last time you got a chance to see him? No, no, no. Been that long, huh? Do you write him? He been in there since 2005. He just wrote him like last year. I don't want to write him. I want to see him. You want to see him? Yeah. You want to go? That that's a that's a boy that's crying out for his father. That's exactly what that is. He's looking for male energy. And the mother cannot give that to him at all. That reverend, he could give it to him, but because that's not his father, he ain't really got to listen to that reverend. And I don't, and I know that reverend don't even want to even deal with that. I wouldn't. Let's go ahead and continue. Let's finish this out. I want to go see your father. I'll help you go see him. Would you like to go see him? I'll help you go see him, man. I'll do that for you. This is my daughter. She's been missing for a week. If you see her, could you please call that number? Shout out to Vice News for this, for this video. I love it. Um, Brother, this is just part one. So I will continue the series because we're gonna get more into the to the to Cortez going to see his father in prison. And um it's a little bit disturbing him going to see his father in prison. But uh we'll get to that on um, part two. Um I wanna thank you guys for listening. I want y'all to like, share, and subscribe, continue, and hey, pass this along, man, if you can. But um, that's pretty much it. Y'all be easy.